Welcome back everyone, I'm Simon Severino, your personal business coach. This week, I answer your question. Simon, they don't tell me the budget on the phone. I cannot close when I meet them in Zoom. They don't trust me. They don't tell me the real budget. So thank you for the question. And you are talking about the right points. We have to talk about trust. How can you build up trust in a situation where they don't have reason yet to trust you? So how do we build up that relationship when we are in an online sales call so that we can build up trust with strangers who are here, they don't care about you, they don't know you, they're trying to solve the problem, to take the right decision, and they want to find out, are you the right person? to trust, the right person to talk about that decision, the right person that can help them take the right decision for them. So let's zoom in into our repeatable sales model, which is what we use every Monday when we coach each other. Marco says, uh, joining Simon's Monday JVC was the best business decision he did. Pedro has uh, quadrupled his revenue in the Monday sessions. The Monday sessions are where we come together to coach each other on exactly those things. How you create trust and how you increase win rates in your sales calls. And let's zoom into one of the models that we use there every Monday, which is the eight steps to close. Today we zoom into step one, because step one is about building trust. If we don't do step one correctly, we will never get to step two. And if we jump over one because we try to get directly to two, we will not close anything. Visualizing is about creating that trust that you need. And if we don't create that trust, nothing will happen. They will not tell us the real budget. They will not tell us the real problem and you have no chance to close a high ticket deal. So we have to look at three things inside here. One is, and this is exactly what I want you to practice in your next sales call. One is their own words, okay? It's their words. Are you actually using their words? Like I'm visualizing right now, are you actually using their words or are you using your words? This is the most important thing. And how can they know? You can either repeat, but that is a bit creepy, or you can visualize as they speak, which is much more elegant than modern. You just visualize what they are telling you. Why? Because everybody hates change that comes from the outside but nobody hates change that comes from the inside. When you want to change, you love the change. When other people want you to change, eh, right? So you use their words because it's their journey and you are helping them take the best decision. So you use their words. The next thing is the quality of your questions. Excellent salespeople have excellent sales questions. The quality of your questions instills expertise, which creates trust. And also, you share information via the quality of your questions. What you want to create here is insights. And what is insights versus information? Insights is information beyond what they already know. So when they come in, don't ask them, hey, what are you doing in sales? What's keeping you up at night? Those things, they know it already. Ask them things that show them something that they didn't know yet. Oh, I didn't think about this. Oh, I didn't connect these two things. Oh, I didn't know that. This is where you show expertise. So prepare your question, have a set of questions that you see people um, uh, experiencing as insightful and come prepared with those questions and rehearse those questions. We rehearse them in the Monday meeting. If you want to rehearse with us, 
strategiesprints.com slash JVC. And then the th third thing is your recommendation. And now you might say, but Simon, I cannot recommend things, right? I am, I am biased. Well, if you are an expert, and this is what they are trying to find out, can I trust them? Should I trust them? Why should I trust them? Are they an expert? Can they help me take my best decision? So if you are an expert, you are seeing this since over 10 years, a dozen times a day. That's why you see pattern and you can recommend. You can say, if I were you, this is what I would do. Because you are helping them take their best decision. Now, they are not the expert. That's why they're calling you. That's why they want your input. And they are not the expert. They are the expert at what they do, but they are not the expert at selling. They are not the expert at what you uh, bring to the table. That's why they want to talk to you. And if you recommend, there is actually statistical evidence that says salesperson that recommends has higher win rates because they feel your expertise. They see, okay, he's using my words, he gets me, right? He sees me, he hears me, he understands me. Then his questions are powerful. They made me think about things that I didn't think about. They made me realize one or two things that I didn't know before the call. And it made me go to a place that is relevant to me and that I wouldn't dare to go alone, but he pushed me there or she pushed me there. And then the third part, your recommendation. Is, is your recommendation coming from a place of expertise? Are they really expert? Did they get where I am and where I can be? And also, what would they do if they were me? Because when you recommend, you say, look, if I was in your shoes, I would do this. And if you say it with a, a good intention, with an open heart, now you are helping them take their best decision. And this is what the buyer wants. The buyer wants in stage one, they're trying to find out. Okay, I couldn't Google it, so I have to talk to somebody. Now I'm talking to somebody. Can I trust them? Do I like them? Are they an expert? So how do you get through this first stage of an online sales call? By doing these three things. You write down their words. You visualize their words. You prepare a set of questions that is insightful, that creates value in itself. And you give them a true recommendation that is around their best decision, not your most profitable product. All right, hope this helps. Let me know what you need next and let's have fun selling. <laughs>